Rambo. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm sorry. Did the beginning of my sentence interrupt the beginning of yours? Is that what happened? Uh, I started the middle of my stupid. sentence. Uh, uh, we started at the same time. So. Hello. Hey, everybody. Oh, welcome God. back to Not So Nice Gamers. We're playing Dying Light today. And we got nothing accomplished in the last episode. Absolutely nothing. Just uh, I got stuff bitch done. And moaned and complained. No, we didn't. Uh -huh. We sat there and we stood by the orange juice the entire episode. Uh, I'm good good. with that. Anyway, anyway, we were talking about uh, off camera. We started talking about uh, No Man's Sky. And no Man's Sky. Yeah. So No Man's Sky is uh, came out what like two three weeks ago. Oh my god, he's talking two again. Weeks ago. Oh my god, stop talking. Uh, just can't talk over him. Nobody cares. Uh, it's too much work. Uh, anyway, so No Man's Sky came out like two weeks ago, as of recording this. And, ooh, that was a great shot. And when it came out, anyway. uh, since then, I sh I shot a a the vomit guy in the face with an arrow from like across the fucking map. Anyways, um, its sales are plummeting, and it's because, I don't know, in our opinion, there's nothing to the game. Like, it's beautiful, it's got great cinematic value, like, it's got amazing potential, but there's just nothing to it. It's a very like, hollow game. Well, like, if, if, like what you said, that it could be a great action adventure game, like, the current setup, if you made that to, like, a sub thing, like, like something else you had to do on top of the side quests or on top of the main storyline, I'd be over the shit. Or, like I was saying, but even like, if you made it, like, a, a Minecraft-type game where, like, I could go around the universe building and crafting different shit on a galactic scale, I'd be all over that shit. But, like, for me, like, I do like the crafting games. I do enjoy a game where you do get to create other things. Which is exactly what a crafting game is. Like, but I want to play Seven Days to Die, but we've got so much zombie shit already. <laughs> yeah. No, like, for me, like, if I... If they put a story into that game and some objectives and, like, just more in-depth, like, content into that game. Like, then I'd play it. I would be all over it. But, like, there is no content! No, get off me! Well, it's... It's fly. It's a very... Explore. It's a very... Scavenge. Very Jane repeat. Kind of game. I think there's... There's nothing to it. Who am I... Who am I supposed to... Get the, oh, Kareem. You're one. I don't know. I'm gonna walk. Kareem. Right, here oh, sir. Here are the blueprints. I'm not a drunk. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. But anyway, like, like, I don't know. If they made it more like Zelda-esque, like the first Zelda game, where it was a very open world, very easy to explore game. But there was still be no fun. Or like, what? But the thing is, with the type of game it is, you can't have a linear system with it. You can't have an objective-based game because there's no objective. Like, you, it's a randomly generated game. That's true. It's, I mean, it's but like different. Everybody's world is different. So like, you can't, you can't do linear base when the worlds aren't preset. That's true. That's true. But I mean, like, just something more to the game. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what all the reviews are about, too, that there's yeah. not enough content to the game. Like, that's the game is too big so. to fill itself. Like, you know what I mean? Can we skip this? Can we skip this, motherfucker? I don't, I don't want to uh, skip it. Rude? You just no, took my cocaine. Two crates of <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a, that's another interesting design in this game is that they use cocaine for everything. Uh, every item is cocaine. A coward's submission to 
Like, what if this actually isn't happening? But what's our character's name again? Crane. What if Crane is some kind of fucking strung out junkie sitting on the side of the road be like, oh my god, zombies. He's a drug pusher. Uh, right? Drug pusher. No, no, no. I mean druggy, like like fucking sitting on the side of the road, fucking hallucinating all this shit. So I gotta like, say, that's the like higher game. Rise gives them this much, right? Promises two crates. Let's be real here. Mm -hmm. How the fuck is Crane supposed to get two crates of Antison back to the tower? They don't have any vehicles. You gotta, you gotta get four people to carry these two crates back in a zombie horde. Hmm. He's got a good point. Well, how do they get back? That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they wouldn't. No. No. How did they get it to the? Uh, how did Rise get it to? Uh, where the fuck? That's that's another thing I'm saying. Like, will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the town? Uh huh. Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go into the he shop. does have some nice ink on him, though, right? Yes. It's a very cool tattoo. Like I don't I don't have any tattoos, and I know you're riddled with them. But like, thirteen of them, something baby. Something like that is really cool. Ooh, I got. I leveled up. I, I got dang. I did not uh, level up. Yeah, I are sad. Oh nope, I did level up. Okay, so we gotta find contact with GRE again. Oh my god. Work, 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 work. Twerk, 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 twerk. So my boss at work wants me to sign up for a special event because I haven't done one in several months. And like they lazy. recommend that you do, yeah, because I am lazy. I don't want to fucking do them. Special events suck. But like because I haven't voluntarily signed up for one in a while, he wants me to do the mermaid one. Did you say the mermaid? mermaid 5K? Mermaid, mermaid 5K? Uh, that sounds kind of mermaid. weird. Dumb. So he's very dumb. That's not dumb. He wants me to, on October 1st, he wants me to do it. I'm like, I don't think so. He's like, well, it's either that or the Chicago Marathon. I'm like, oh, fuck. Either way, I'm screwed. I don't want to do either one. Because the Chicago Marathon sucks. Like, it's just, it's just terrible all around. There's a bunch of people who should be running, who are running, who fucking fall down bash your face into the concrete or they have a seizure or they're fucking dehydrated or they're just dumb people Fuck you. you're and telling like, me i can't not drink water during a 5k or before a 5k this is no the chicago marathon's 26 and a half miles you know what i mean though like people do those things and like they don't prepare no they don't or like some guys like oh you know what I haven't ran. I, I used to run track in high school. Uh, I, I can do this. And it's been like 35 years. I'm like, no, dude, you can't do this. You should not do this. I had a guy last year when I worked the Chicago Marathon. That's how I know it sucks so bad. That had a full on, full blown fucking seizure. What? <laughs> and I was like, OK, well, is there, do you have a do you have a history of seizure? He's like, oh, yeah, I had one two days ago. Why are you running? Why are you here? <laughs> the number one, the number one cause of seizures is stress. And guess what? Running a fucking marathon is stressful. Oh shit! Ha ha! Where are you, bitch? There you are. You be the bitch. You be the bitch. Bitch. Okay, uh, should we get... Quack, 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 quack. Yeah! I like... Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Hacha! Come on, Rhett, hurry up! Where are you? I'm waiting. I'm just hanging out. Sitting around. Oh, shit. Killing Zambos. 
Okay, well, I guess it's a good place to end the episode anyway. Is this a good place so, to end the episode already? Yeah, yeah. I got a gorilla it. anti-joke for next time. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's all the time we got for this episode. Please like. Bye, comment, everybody. See you guys on the next episode. Peace Stick out, around homies. if you want funny joke. Fuck funny you, Derek. joke? Poke it up, poke it up, Afro Circus. <laughs> he gave you a shield, right? Uh, adorable. <laughs>